the translation of science to generate value for society is really what biotechnology is actually about and in particular it refers to the use of the molecular biosciences. There has been some really, really exciting developments, for example, in molecular sciences in recent years. And those changes, those technological changes, especially in you know, things like big data, um, high throughput sequencing, cloning technologies, um, synthetic biology, they are very closely linked to biotechnology and we try to bring those areas into the course. So in the first semester, the focus is more upon the molecular sciences and the molecular biology aspect. So for example, students will take courses in genetic engineering and courses that relate to allowing us to manipulate genes. And then when you go into the second semester, the focus becomes slightly more applied. So we, we, we have a module in biotechnology which, which is taught by a wide number of staff across the Institute for Global Food Security here at Queen's and the School of Biological Sciences. And the other course that students take is called um, Advanced Skills and Bioentrepreneurship. And a very important part of biotechnology isn't just the research aspect of it, but how we can apply the molecular biosciences in industry. The School of Biological Sciences has very, very strong links with industry and very strong links with the research centres that are now based within Queen's. Uh, in particular, the Institute for Global Food Security is, is, is a very successful um, organisation here within the university that is very research focused and is very, very strong links with a, with a number of stakeholders in the food industry. And we try and bring those companies into the university to help with the education and to try to make sure that the courses that the students are learning are closely linked to the requirements of companies. All of the students on the course are allocated a research project. Now the research project is usually with a member of academic staff who has an interest in biotechnology and molecular biology. The students then carry out a three to four month project over the summer, which involves developing real and, and appropriate lab skills. In some cases we can also place a student in a company. And we look at the option of trying to allow a student in some cases to perform their project within that company setting, which, which again gives them quite beneficial experience for their careers as they go forward. Biotechnology is becoming a very attractive career path for many people. There's, there's, there are a lot more job opportunities now in biotechnology. It's all very exciting in terms of what we can now do with biotechnology. And so really the course could, can be seen to a certain extent as a, almost a conversion course or a course to develop interest in biotechnology and molecular biology for students maybe that come from slightly different backgrounds. A key part of the course is entrepreneurship, is developing business skills that relate to the biotechnology industry, not just research skills. And again, this is very attractive to many bioscience graduates who maybe are not looking for a career in academia, but are actually looking for a career in industry where they can actually have a much broader influence than just in the research lab.